time for showbiz, Noela. Is here, hello, Noela. Hi, Israel. How are you doing? I'm well. How about you? I'm good. I'm How's good. How's your day? Ah, fantastic. As you Fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, very. Good time, good time, yeah. All right. So let's talk about our uncle Lebo White, who's replying uh, Stella Seal. You remember? Oh yeah, that Friday. controversial comment by yes, yes, uh, Stella yes, Seal. Yes, yes, yes. That yeah. uh, we should allow the men Women who can to afford to marry, marry more than one, you know, to solve a societal problem. Of course. Now, Uncle Lebo White says, "Look, give him." Give a man a hundred wives and he will still cheat. Tell her and all those who believe that way that they should go and find out whether it kept adultery in the past. Adultery is not a modern thing. Do you understand me? In the days when, when divorce was so easy, when getting a second wife, a third wife, was as simple as, oh, compensate your current wife. Do you understand me? You could go to town, and come and say, oh, yeah, um, I, this is your Ukraini. And if she gets angry, elders came and said, look, you compensate her. And then it was that easy. You didn't have to go to court. You didn't have to do anything. Even then, there was adultery. Um, there was adultery. So uh, it's a false solution. Those who do that do not understand what even drives those who, who, who cheat. No. It has nothing to do. Give him 100 wives. He will still find, one day he will drive through town and say, hey, that girl. <laughs> you know? And if that girl smiles back at him, I mean, we are all in trouble. So, no, it's not a solution. Okay, actually, we have to bring in the drama. <laughs> yeah, because. Well, what do you think? Is that true? Give a man 100 wives and he'll still cheat. I agree. You agree? Yeah. Okay. I agree. I mean, you can give the man whatever, but yeah. He'll still cheat. The you, man will be going be through man. He'll be going through town and then see something. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Right. Now, you know, I had that conversation with him and the showing of his latest play. Okay. Uh, for me, it was my first time, God, You're Fired. And oh, it's I, her first time was seeing an uncle, uncle Lebo play? I'm telling you, you won't believe it, oh, but yes, no. my first You've time. You've missed. Of course. And, you know, it was worth my time. And yeah. the show's called, uh, the play is called God, You're Fired. Yeah. And you know how uh, most of the times we pray to God and expect, you know, swift answers. And okay. when he doesn't, we vent out at him. Well, this play will help you understand and, God and, and, and listen, better. And the, 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 the way to say the title is God, God you're, you're fired. fired. Uh -huh. <laughs> Easy is fired. Your pain is mine, and you can only have this over my dead body. Ah. Ah. Well, she told him he's mad, so he has lost his mind. Ah. And she said, Over the head of body, she declared her own death. Ah. Well, how can that be? You see, as God of this church, he said yes. Every prayer said here. So every word that comes out of your mouth will have immediate effect. Ah, uh, I'm still going. Oh, you still have a lot of time. Okay, then. Ah, uh, but I'll be here. And let's see it. Come back to life. It's always great coming to watch their plays all the time. How about you? Well, um, actually, um, I really like this show. Every time I come for a production, I really enjoy it. I always want to say, Uncle Bo, God bless you, Uncle Bo, God bless you. It was good. It was good. I think I, I was imagining what could it be? How then can we fire God? But then I think I got my answers. Anytime you leave Uncle Bo's production, it gets you thinking. Thinking about life, thinking about so many things, um, choices, decisions that we make. And I'm really glad I was here. If you've, been, if you've ever worked with God, related to God, there are things you get disappointed with, you know. His timing is always different from ours. Um, some of the things you are very desperate about, he doesn't seem to come quickly. And you often get to the point where you want to say, God, you know what? <laughs> you are fired. Um, so that, that is what it is. It is. It is the experience of everyone who is work with God, if he's to be honest, that um, you can't understand this God. And sometimes um, you get very, very confused about um, why is he not coming through for you? This popular song in the play, I don't know if I can share with you. So it goes like, you are the shepherd, I am the sheep. But before God, we are all sheep. Sometimes God pairs the sheep to create another sheep. Are you a sheep? <laughs> so what, that song was made just yeah, there. Yeah, just there. You okay. know, it was it was it was exciting. So I was wondering where you were going on. I was wondering, okay, so where is this going? <laughs> 
Yes. But away from that, let's talk about Kitty. He's back from Sierra Leone, uh, and you know he was on the daybreak. He's back show. from Sierra Leone after he dropped that bombshell. That bombshell. So yeah, he was on daybreak hits today. They asked him all about it, and he dropped another bomb. Is you it? know, some time ago he talked about how um, he he you know he finds himself interested in women that are older than him. Okay. Guess what? His baby mama is older than him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Take a look. His, his name is Zane, and he was three last week. So where's the mother? She did. They where? Did she did. So for three years, we are in 2019. Yep. So you had him in 2016. Yep. So you coming on air, lying to Ghanaians, you are single and yeah, I'm single. And that you want I women who are older enough and. Is she older than you? <laughs> I don't answer with my mouth. I answer with my head. <laughs> <laughs> so answer with your head. This is just to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So, um, you and Kitty, who's older? Easy, don't do this. We are live television. Don't do this. We can't choose to answer with your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thanks uh, for having for me. Uh, that was a really bringing us to